Many teachers in rural communities on the continent have many challenges to deliver the best education to their students. Key challenges being infrastructural resources and the provision of adequate resources and training. The Nelson Mandela Institute for Education and Rural Development, stationed at the University of Fort Hare, has been created to unearth the problems of basic schooling, but also to find opportunities for educators in the sector. One of the ways they do this is through their Teachers' Awards ceremony to celebrate educators who thrive in rural schools. And to tell us more about this, of course, is Bumgazi Njoloza, responsible for external relations at the Institute, and she joins us via our Zoom link. Bumgazi, thank you so much for joining us here on the late edition. Perhaps if you can just start here for us and just tell us about uh, a very good initiative that's being done uh, at the Fort Hare University. How did it come about? All right. Thank you so much, Bali, uh, for having me. Uh, the Nelson Mandela Institute was really a partnership between the Department of Basic Education, the Nelson Mandela Foundation, as well as the University of Fort Hare. And really the work of the NMI was to unearth the problem behind the problem in basic schooling, as well as address those challenges. And so we're a research institute that allows practice, um, rather that allows what happens on the ground to inform practice in terms of what our approach is. We do work in curriculum development, teacher training and development, uh, research for policy and planning, as well as, um, you know, centering the decolonial agenda in education. Mm. And perhaps if you can just give us a bit more insight, we do know that, uh, you know, uh, teachers in rural communities face a number of challenges, of course, challenges of infrastructure and a whole list of other problems uh, that, you know, those in cities may never encounter. If you can just tell us uh, the conditions uh, that these educators go through just to give children an education. Yeah, I mean, it is no secret that uh, the inequality situation in South Africa has sort of created a real a real divide between the haves and the have-nots. Uh, the teachers that work in rural contexts already swim against the tide because they basically have to create something out of nothing. They have to uh, essentially imagine solutions into existence. Um, but infrastructure is not the main problem, you know, it's, it's a huge part of the problem without a doubt, but it certainly isn't the main problem. One of the main problems in basic education in South Africa is that the education tools are not accountable to the context of children who are away from urban centers. By this I mean they're not account accountable to their language. They are not accountable to the social conditions that they are susceptible to engaging. So, so the ideas themselves are inaccessible, which is why you have uh, the literacy crisis in South Africa, which is why you have um, underperforming provinces being the rural provinces in South Africa. Educational solutions are not centered uh, or are not designed to address or to prioritize or center children who are away from urban areas and, and, and those are some of the challenges that we're dealing with. Mm. And despite these challenges uh, these teachers are actually faced with in rural communities, what would you say uh, keeps them going? What makes them wake up every morning and, you know, try by all means uh, to give a children a good foundation and a good education? Well, in, in, um, in our programs as the Nelson Mandela Institute, we have created tools for both maths and literacy for primary schools that have helped teachers really enhance their own practice and really broaden the ways in which they, they approach pedagogy, especially given um, you know, the circumstances, some of the circumstances that they work under in, in, in under-resourced schools. And these tools have equipped teachers to a point where they have elevated and have begun to outperform schools in urban, in urban districts. You know, so the idea even behind the awards is to acknowledge the fact that now this cohort of rural schools in the Eastern Cape is outperforming the best performing districts in, in, in provinces such, such as Gauteng and the Western Cape. Mm. And talking about uh, the teacher awards, uh, when are the awards taking place and you know, how did you go about uh, selecting the teachers who will be awarded? So firstly, the teachers, the, the, the awards will be on the 23rd of June. Uh, they will be in Tata at Mayfair Hotel. 
And the teachers were firstly selected from the cohort, the specific cohort of schools that is outperforming the best performing districts in the country. And then from that cohort of schools, teachers were excelling the, the most in those in those contexts in different things, such as pedagogical practice, such as uh, math scores, such as literacy scores. And so they were selected based on those things. Basically, these are teachers who have modeled excellence uh, in, 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 in rural contexts, but in ways that can be replicated even in other contexts. And these are teachers that are second to, to, to no other in terms of how they've displayed excellence and in terms of how their model uh, can, can sort of be, be used as an indication of what is possible, even at scale in education in South Africa. Mm. And if maybe you can take us through the categories uh, for the awards uh, and essentially, you know, how, uh, you know, teachers will be awarded according to which categories uh, and how many uh, can we expect to be honoured uh, on that day? All right, so we have uh, two districts that we're awarding teachers from. Um, I think uh, I've mentioned the OR Tambo Inland District, which is the Mtata and surrounding areas. And then we have the Alfred Nzo District, which is Mbizana and surrounding areas. Uh, so we have winners of uh, um, under each cate category for each of these di districts. Uh, we have uh, awards such as Best Pedagogical Tractors, we have uh, awards such as the Dr. Ramadiro Achievement Award in Literacy. Dr. Ramadiro is a literacy expert based here at the University of Forte, and he's one of the academics be behind the development of our literacy tools here in the Institute. So um, best performers in, in, in the early grade reading assessment are uh, uh, honored with the Dr. Ramadiro Award. Dr. Porteous, there's also the Dr. Porteous Award for Maths. Dr. Porteous is a specialist in maths education um, that is mother tongue based. Uh, so, so she's leading the area of work involved with developing its called uh, maths tools. And so the maths award is, is, is the Dr. Porteous Award. We have awards such as the Rising Star Award, which is teachers who have really just emer emerged over the last, last five years and already are excelling, uh, you know, beyond teachers who've been in practice for long and who've also begun to create models for what is possible. Some of the teachers are uh, awarded for excellence during COVID times, despite COVID backlogs. As you may know, in a lot of rural schools, it was difficult to continue with education because a lot of rural children are first generation children and they, have, they live at home with grandparents who are not able to help them um, with homework and learning from home and all of that. But these children have continued to, to ex excel despite those kinds of realities. So, so those are some of the things that we will be yeah. we will be acknowledging. As well as the MCC veterans, these are now teachers who've been with the program since its inception. I mean, the NMI was launched by the late president Nelson Mandela in the early 2000s. And there are teachers who have been with the program since we started. And you've seen in how they've grown personally in their own understanding of, and practice of their own work, right. but also in terms of how they've begun to build communities of practice with other teachers, even in other schools, and have helped uh, develop those teachers as well. So we're also acknowledging uh, people who have been um, with the program for for for, for over, over a decade. Mm. All right, Bomugazi Njoloza, thank you so much. Uh, for your time here on the late edition. That is uh, Bomigazi Njoloza from the Nelson Mandela Institute for Education and Rural Development. Indeed, she is uh, responsible for external relations at the institution.